So living and hunting in the Yukon, I spend the majority of my time in the mountains backpack hunting in the three months that we have of the main part of our season here. So from August 1st to the end of October, a lot of mountain time. And I'm very specific about the glass that I use and the size of optics that I use when I'm carrying it on my back. There's other opportunities to switch up the glass during the season if I'm using motorized vehicles, uh, you know, ATVs, that kind of thing that gives you an opportunity to carry a little bit more gear than you normally would. But on a strict backpack hunt, I have two sets of optics. I have binoculars and a spotting scope. And that's pretty much what, what I go to the vast majority of my hunting. So when it comes to binoculars, I carry 10 power. These are the Razor UHDs. These are 10 by 42s. And this is my go-to glass probably 70% of the time. Now I use these specifically because I can really move, I'm moving around a lot and when I'm moving, I need to be able to quickly grab the glass, take a look at a bowl and 90% of the time within a few minutes, I've got it covered and I can do it with 10 powers. I find that eight powers are not quite enough and 12s are too much for me to actually handle and be stable while I'm trying to, you know, pick apart the side of a mountain. So I find that the 10s are perfect for me. I can actually stand and hand hold them when I need to. For the most part, I can quickly drop down, sit down, don't even have to take my backpack off. I can acquire the target or I can pretty much pick apart the side of a mountain really fast. And the 10s are ideal for me and in my opinion are probably the ideal for any mountain hunting where you're carrying your binoculars. Anybody that's using 12s, uh, you're a better glasser than I am then. And I think that I spent a fair bit of time in the mountains. So, so when it comes to my spotting scope, Vortex Razor, it's the 85 mil objective lens, which is a nice big wide platform to be able to see as much as you possibly can. Um, there are bigger ones out there. I find that weight is a huge factor when obviously you're carrying everything on your back, sometimes 12, 14 days of food, and you have to have the, the right mix between weight and the ability to get out there and reach something. So this here is a perfect setup for me under almost any conditions. 12, you know, 12, 14 days, I have no problem carrying this with the 85 mil objective. This is a 27 by 60, and it pretty much does everything I need when I need it to reach out. Say I see something in that back bowl, and I really want to find out, okay, how big is that ram? Let's get a, get a really good picture on it, and then I get behind the spotting scope. And then even sometimes when I know I'm going to be situated in, in a one place for a while, I put the spotting scope on the tripod and then I'm going back and forth between binoculars and spotting scope. And that's just a really good combination for me that I've used in over 25 years. I found that that's, that's the perfection spot for me. So there are times when the K-Babs, these are the 18 by 56 made by Vortex and there's times when these come in really handy, but pretty much for me, I need to be with a motorized vehicle where um, I'm not gonna be carrying them on my back along with the spotting scope and my 10 by 42s. So if I've, you know, I'm hunting with, where I'm not gonna be far from the airplane or we've got an ATV or some sort of transportation nearby that can carry the weight, then they become perfect because there's, especially during moose season, when moose are moving in and out of trees and maybe they're a little bit too close for the spotting scope for the 27 power, but maybe not quite enough with the tens, you, you could have a little bit more. So that's when I pull these out and typically they go mount on a tripod because I certainly can't handhold them. And you have a little bit of a uh, little bit of flexibility there. So I really like that as my intermediate type type glass. And between these three, there isn't anything that I'm missing. I pretty much cover every hunting scenario that I can come across in the Yukon 
with these three sets of optics and I've just got it all covered.